Pre-season starts now. As a group, as an individual, everything you do from here on in gets you ready for round one. More importantly, gets you ready for 2023 season. Things I want you thinking about. Compete. You're gonna have some quiet noise in your head at that stages. You gotta manage that. How you find ways to compete individually and how your body language helps you and your teammates compete. And keep at it. Commit. There's some things that you'll see over the course of this journey where we get a real understanding of what it means to play for this club. Lastly, connections. There's gonna be times that you're gonna feel that and you're gonna need your teammates. You're gonna learn things about each other that are gonna make us stronger as a unit. And over the next however many hours, all the staff are in, everybody's in. Fear nothing. We have nothing to fear. Packaging up. Yeah. 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 Taking over as your hands get tired and cramped and all that kind of stuff. And what are you going to do about it? Probably get some. Hey yeah. yeah. boys, it's not it's it's when it's get one screw up, it slides across. Yeah, it's on, on the next screw, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It slides across, it'll just slip, slip all that and the next screw up. Yeah. This is your history right here. Just get it up there, get it in the boxes and get it. 20 each, boys. 20 other ones each. periods tonight where you will be alone by yourself thinking and I think that the best soldiers in my business are the ones who can navigate through that noise it's coming from everywhere push it up no counting If, if you could give anything about South Sydney to the boys in your own words that they carry with them tonight, what would it be? Guts and glory. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Okay, on parade, on parade, everybody move on parade. You know, we're talking about carrying history with us tonight. What is it that you love? Just pride in everything you do. You know, turn up every day. You know, be proud to be putting that jersey on. Even if it's a training shirt, just pride. Just have pride in yourself and the way you carry yourself. Represent you know the area the best way you can. Incorrect. All out. All out. Start again. Words are sort of, they don't hold much weight, it's more actions that are holding weight. If you're committing to something, you're showing it, you're not saying it. So, if you want to make a commitment, it's easy, kind of, I reckon it's kind of easy to say, I want to be better, but how do you get better? And how do you commit to getting better? Part of what we're doing tonight is um, going around and exploring and finding out about our history as a club, but I want to respect that history, but I, I also want to make our own mark, make, create our own legacy, and that's what we're doing tonight. Go on, go, 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 Good boys. 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 Good boys.
I always learn something when I was young. If you are down Redford Way, why not drop in and see them play? The men who wear the red and green will show you football you've never seen. The side coach by the little master, that was Clive, play the game that's so much faster. To see a fullback like our Clive makes you glad that you're alive. Then it rambles on with all the players and a poem. It's, it's a historical one. Hopefully, this is the start of more success here uh, for the mighty Rabbitohs, and there'll be poems indicating new people in there like they did with Clive, Bernie Purcell, Jack Rayner, and all the greats of South. Gentlemen, on your journey from leaving our historical Redfern to our new ground over here at um, the Centre of Excellence, we wish you well. We all yearn for the day when we're Premiers again. And I finish by saying glory, glory to South Sydney. I know you've got a lot on tonight, so I'm only going to keep it short and uh, make sure I address what needs to be said. But at the end of the day, it's a very proud thing to know that you're trade union. It's a very proud thing to know that you stick together. But sport's an integral part of what we do as well. It doesn't matter what you play, as long as you play with a team. You learn teamwork, you learn to stand together, you learn to back your mates when times are tough as well. But I'm proud that we're on this journey together and I'm more than comfortable that we continue to get what we get out of it. Oh, oh, the hill, the incline. But I'm just living my life, there's nothing crazy about me. Some people pay for films, but I get mine for free. Man, I'm just living my life, there's nothing crazy about me. Put your names on top of the uh, paper. The old boys are very much involved in um, organising and, and re really trying hard to keep uh, blokes together once they retire from footy when some quite often they, they're going to get lost. You go through a period where you, know, you lose that camaraderie, you lose that routine that you're used to. And so it brings such great you know, joy to their lives to be able to um, you know, come and support you blokes and, and um, you know, get together and talk about old times. and. You know, it's something that's not lost, and, and everyone needs to know that once you finish playing, it's not lost here in the Rabbitohs. Just listening to some of the stories tonight, I'm a massive advocate now in the old network and the military of not only encouraging people, but imploring people. Find something that you like, pursue something, get passionate about something. It's such a powerful thing to have in your back pocket when the knee goes, shoulder goes, back goes, and for what's after, plan B. Damage in there too. Oh, 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 oh
Would you, would you buy that or is that second hand? That's, oh, that's a good effort, not too bad. Where you have a saying called <laughs> suffering is a privilege. Most suffering isn't a privilege, most suffering sucks. But it's a privilege to be here and do a bit of suffering together. That's the point. To get to where you are, you have to suffer a fair bit over the journey. So this type of <coughs> suffering is a privilege. So always lean into it, particularly when you're doing it together. <laughs> Hello, told me what you were doing here. I thought it was a great initiative. And to go around to all of our clubs would mean so much, so much to them. I, don't, I just hope that you just understand what you mean to this community. And if I can say one thing, stay with the club wherever you, wherever you finish up. Uh, you're always part of the South Sydney family as far as we're all concerned. Pride's yes. not enough. Get it done. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight. This right now is a f***ing prelude. We've been here before, but this is different. Get excited about what we can achieve, not worrying about what's got before us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. First impressions matter how we make our impression on this place. Talk about it, Skip talks about it all the time, winning attitude, winning mindset. Five minutes, plenty of recovery, get a drink, cover up, and taking it home. This is the start of something. It's not a one-off thing that we do and we don't talk about it. We'll use it to build our themes for the season. We'll use it to build our leadership model, what that looks like. It'll be a constant reference point for us. We'll go with you. Stretch, what did your team come up with? What we represent is bigger than this group here. I think we saw that with every, every place we stopped throughout our journey over the last night. The passion and pride that people have for this club and how much it means to them is bigger than us. We'll be the last team to, last NRL team to train at Redford and the first ever one to train at Everett, which is we're making our own this year. 
history in a pretty decade. Uh, we said people and culture are what makes us any great. Part of our culture is understanding and respecting our history, but it's our turn to create our own legacy with this group that we have here. I have a, quite a simple take on it, it's privilege and responsibility. We get to do what we do, I get to do what I do, it's an absolute privilege. Every day I wake up, not just to represent South Sydney, but to be your coach is a privilege I love every day. There's an outstanding group of young men committed to what you're trying to do. You own your faults, you work on them, you're always turning up, giving your best, and you've done that again today. And the responsibility side is it's it's on us, we own that. Several people have said it, it's our time. Now our challenge now, starting in the new year, is to turn those words into actions. Turn those hopes and dreams into reality. We said it after the last game, and I'll say it again. Being proud's not enough anymore because this group can achieve much more than that.